I'm feeling a little bit nervous actually because um I just just really want to be liked. Uh, and okay, I, well, I don't know, I just happen to bring in a list of catchphrases maybe from my favorite TV shows. Now that I can put my foot on Down Abbey. Oh, I can dance to that. Uh, rest of development. My Furby is dead. I can do what I want. Pokemon? Too spicy. Wayne's World. A surgeon is going to recommend surgery. Law and order. Could use a little sauce. Matrix. How about that with a side of fries? Westworld, I think. <sighs> Aaron, why are you doing this? It's just important for me to be liked. Hey everybody, welcome to Meet Firebase, the show where you get to meet the Googlers that make Firebase happen. My name is Doug Stevenson, and on the show with me today is Aaron Druck. Aaron, hey. thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. And, and uh, you're here in the fire basement with me. What do you think of the place? Yeah, it's um, got a nice... Uh, nice real wood here. Yeah, that's that's the realest wood you'll ever see. <laughs> well, Aaron, uh, tell me, uh, what's your place on the Firebase team? I'm a UX designer, um, so I prim primarily work on the console, the Firebase console. Okay, and what products do you, because there's something like 20 products, right? Yeah, yeah, I work on the develop tools, um, so I work on Firestore primarily. Uh, I used to work on hosting as well. Okay, okay, yeah, so when I do public speaking, I actually take screenshots of the Firestore console, and I find it very easy to use and very easy to explain how to use, so I think it's a pleasure to use. Uh, so what's new in the Firestore console that you've worked on? Well, one of the big things that we're working on right now is a, a new onboarding or a zero state for a database, so... Okay. so what's a, what's a zero state for everyone who doesn't know that term? Yeah, so it's like a first time uh, user experience, so you come in there, it's fresh, you don't know what you want to do we give you information about it so you can either pick um, uh, Firestore or database okay okay so zero state means you're there for the first time you have no data no context you're sort of getting started for the very first time. yeah yeah it's kind of like you know you go go to the grocery store and you have two avocados and it's like which one do you want to pick okay so you need some con you need to figure out which one to yeah, pick, right exactly. some, some hand holding or something yeah, yeah a little okay. bit okay so uh, before joining firebase you also worked on other stuff at google so i'm curious to know uh, what you worked on there yeah originally when i joined google i worked on google plus um, and i worked on some social apps in there i also worked on this app called who's down uh, which was this other social uh, get-together app. And I worked on Firebase. I worked on hosting in Firebase. And then I worked on Actions on Google. Um, and Actions on Google is a uh, developer platform to make apps for the Google Assistant. Okay, yeah. So I, I haven't done anything with Actions on Google. Actually, I use the SDK to hook in with Dialogflow. Mm. But uh, I'm curious to know what you've done with, with Actions on Google. Because yeah. I think some of our developers who are watching today might have... Uh, some context on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, Action on Google, it's a, um, you can make apps for the Google Assistant. You go to Action on Google, you go to the console, you can build your actions there, you can work on like the dialogue for it as well, and then you publish it, and then um, it's on the Google Assistant, so anyone can use your apps. Okay, yeah, I actually just got a Google Home Mini. It was a gift. It's yeah. not something I would buy for myself, but now I now that I have one, I might have to actually yeah. build something for you it. You should say, "Hey Google, talk to UX Tips," or "Hey Google, talk to Mandolin Tuner." Oh, the, so those the, are two apps that are that I made that are on there. I don't know if they're still there. They might have taken them off. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll try to build something myself. <laughs> and probably use Firebase with that as well for like a fulfillment. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you do more than just build um, software experiences for developers. So I've noticed that on your website you have physical things as well, not mm -hmm. just software mm -hmm. things. So what are some of your favorite physical things that you've built? I like to build uh, uh, tables, end tables, things like that. Um, and then uh, kind of combining with software, uh, I've made some physical computing projects. So one of them is this, uh, this was in grad school, was this uh, like flower um, and it's an ambient notification system where uh, you get uh, emails from people and certain flowers light up. Um, it was to like reduce stress. Oh, that's thing. interesting. It, it was like proof of concept. So okay. Yeah. So instead of getting the, the the alert or the notification or a buzz, you get 
something in your house. Yeah, so yeah, so. yeah, exactly. So, something a little bit nicer than uh, staring at a screen. I guess. Yeah, so, yeah, well, I yeah, don't want to yeah. stare at a screen all yeah. day. <laughs> but I'm not sure how I feel about a flower that lights up. That might be a little too yeah, foreign th- for yeah. me. <laughs> and, th- and then you're just going to stare at flowers all day. <laughs> I mean, flowers are really nice. So. They are. They're very pleasant. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's all very interesting experience for users and developers. Um, and I found that historically... Uh, UX, so your field, has been misunderstood. Um, I, th- I think some people just think it's design or or like art or illustration, but I think it's more than that. And I'm kind of curious, what's your way of communicating what you actually do? Because it's not just design. Right? Yeah. Okay. Well, so I often use this analogy, and I don't know if this is really going to work, but uh, um, so someone has designed the street outside, and there's uh, the the stoplights. They turn on and off at specific times. So someone has been measuring the flow of traffic, um, uh, the flow of cars, and they're, um, it's probably like a designer or you know, a civil architect or something. Right, some and, engineer. And, yeah, yeah, and so you know, they want to optimize the flow of traffic, and so in some ways I'm trying to optimize certain flows, like, but in a digital space. Okay. Then at the same time, you, know, you have the boulevards that you know, help with like, uh, making it visually appealing, so kind of doing the same things, just in a different medium. Okay. Okay. Well, Aaron, thanks for joining me here on Meet Firebase. It was a pleasure having you on. And thank you for tuning in uh, to this episode of Meet Firebase. Be sure to subscribe right here to the Firebase channel on YouTube to get more great video content. And I'll see you here next time. Bye bye. Uh, Just let me know if it'll work. I'd appreciate it. It's been a lot to me. Doug. Aaron, you are a fraud. I just really want to be liked.